Good morning everyone out there. It is, I don't know, Saturday. I don't know what the date is to be honest with you. But anyway, I got up and left the house at 5.30 this morning and ran way out here. And we are right now on Half Moon Island. I've never been here before. It looks kind of cool. Uh, the water's moving the opposite direction of what is going to be moving later. So I had to change up my plan. I was gonna go to the east side of this island because the tide should be rolling out that way, but it's gonna take a little bit for that. But we're only gonna give this about 15 minutes over here uh, just to see what we can hit. I might hit this spot and then run up to that side anyway just to see what it looks like. And then from there, if that doesn't work out, we're heading over to Bluxy Marsh. It's only about eight miles away, so we should be there pretty quick, maybe 20 minutes or so. And that, that should pay out. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna go throw jerk bait and just see if I can't induce a bite. And if that doesn't work, I probably will throw a cork on and work the top for a little bit and then move. So let's see what goes on today. The goal for today is a limit of speckled trout. Going for 25 speckled trout. Um, I already see bait, bait busting on the surface. So probably redfish. But I'll catch redfish too. I'm not worried. So let's check this out. There we go. Might be a redfish, but I hope it's a trout. Eh, it might even be a catfish. Ah, oh, catfish. It's a good kind though. Could keep him. I don't want to. Right on. Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> this might be a catfish too, but... Yeah, I think it is a catfish. It's big, whatever it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big head shake might be a might be a red. Oh, this might be a big red fish. Oh yeah. I think we might have just caught a record size red. Jeez, I don't know if I got enough line. Or I caught that dolphin. Oh, that's a big ass red thing. Big red! I gotta chase this one down. I gotta get the net. Big red fish. Super big. This might be my biggest ever. Big fish! Big fish! That is by far my biggest ever. Holy smokes! Talk about redfish! What? Where's my butt? Oh my god. Let's see. I don't want to hurt him. Okay. Check my Check that out! I ain't even holding them out. That is amazing. My cooler only goes up to 26 inches and he's got a solid foot after that. I bet you this thing's all of 40. I'm gonna see if I got a good tape measure. Wow. 
talk about a brute. All right, let's go get a picture. All right, with these big dogs like this, you really want to make sure that they get revived. I hope you can see. It's pretty easy, you just get them in, get them moving. Oh yeah, he's starting to get some light. We're about to get wet, I think. There you go. Back to the depths. Yeah! Bit my finger, but awesome. My biggest one yet. I'm gonna say he was 40 inches. 40, 38. Uh, great fight, good times. That was my lightest rod. I'll try to catch some trout and hook into that thing. So, stay tuned, we are going to catch some trout. That is the goal for today. So, uh, yeah. I don't know. Time to move though. We gotta move because I disrupted this whole spot. So. Number one. Good one too. Let's try to get a good glimpse of this thing. Got him on the jerk bait like on that other time. Uh, I'm working these points and this is the first one. First trout of the day. I got that huge red a little bit ago. But uh, I just haven't been hooking anything. I've had a ton of these little hits on my gulp shrimp uh, under a cork, but they're not hooking, so I really don't think they're trout. I think they were small catfish, maybe. I don't know. But uh, anyway, we're getting closer. Getting closer. Look at that. Ah. Hit super close to the boat. Throwing a little jerk bait again. And uh, sorry for the light. I'm actually gonna spin the camera around. You guys can watch me from the back of the boat because we're just gonna bump down this shoreline and hopefully there is some more. So let's do that now. All right, here we are. So you can see this grass line and this point. Uh, there was another point I've worked down from, but there was no hit. So that's all we're doing right now. We're blind casting and we're searching. Uh, there were a whole bunch of birds sitting on this shore. So let's hope there's a few more big trout. Cause that's a nice trout. There it is. Oh man. I'm not even sure this one will go. Alright. So there are trout here. Pretty sure this one's not quite a legal size fish. That's okay. Maybe. School. I get my player. So look at that. <laughs> Pretty little guy. You see him? Almost needed the net. But that's good, that's good. Uh, usually those size fish school up. Which could mean that there will be some bigger fish in here too. I'll find out. All right, popping cork with a uh, gulp shrimp, new penny colors, whatever. On, uh, on just a regular old kale hook. Uh, this is the one I caught that big red on, so I have to keep fixing this shaft. There we go. Yep. Oh. All right. That's a trout. Another little one. So I found a small school, I think. I don't, well I threw him back already, but he was small, maybe another 10 incher. And if I get one more 10 incher, we gotta move because we need bigger fish. There's gotta be some bigger fish. There we got it. That ain't another catfish. Oh no. 
All right, folks, this one might be 12 inches. Oh, let's hope so. Let's go take a peek. Ooh, oh yeah. 12 and like an eighth. Look at that. Keeper, number two. Number two keeper. All right, let's get at it. This is happening now. Nope. All right, well, catfish. catfish. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. This fish ran clean at the boat. If y'all saw that, I had to catch up with Calm down. Treble hooks on this thing. Anyway, keeper. Stop. Yeah. Last time I fished with this jerk bait, I caught a trout and I had six hooks in my hand. Another good one right there. Perfect fit. Perfect fish. Three. Two on the jerk bait. One on the cork. Let's get another one. And he was also close to shore too, so that's saying something. Closer anyway. Hope this is a trout. I think it is something. It's definitely a fish. It's definitely a trout. All right, good, good, good trout. That's two good trout out of this hole. Stop it. Come on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Look at that yellow mouth feeding fish. That's five fish in the box. 20 to go. Maybe this hole will produce. Let's see. Let's find out. Nineteen to go. See if we can keep this rolling before the school moves on. Oh, we got slime. Mm, ooh, 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 Eighteen to go. Oh God! Oh, I've lost that one. Oh, ah, damn. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Y'all see that? Still recording? Oh, huh. better. Boom! Ooh, man. That's catfish, of course. Of course. Oh, my goodness, I'm turning the camera on and I get nailed. Ooh, this is a better one. This might be the one I just lost. Ooh. Yes. Sun. All right, so I switched out to a pole that's got a little better backbone. And that one, I think I could have set the hook on that one on either rod. He took it down and held on to it. Let's find more. God, they're greasy fish. I need a dang towel. Ooh. I 
measure this one. One little throwback. Nice fish, but oh, look at that, I got a text. Find my wife. Rainy's coming home. Never. Ooh, mama, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, talk about nailing it. This dude nailed it. Oof. Nailed it. Like, he must have been going 50 miles an hour when he put that in his mouth. Oh my goodness. Oh, right in the nuts. I guess I have to edit that part out. Anyway, another one. Oh, oh no. Oh. Sorry, baby. I just lost another ring. Yeah. Wipe my hand off, and there it goes. Money. I lost. I lost like 20 some pounds, and now I've I've lost two rings in the past two weeks because my fingers are so much smaller. And we even bought this ring smaller. Ah. Ain't no like that. I can't believe it didn't float. It's just one of those little rubber ones. But. So I planned this trip. Yeah in conjunction with the way the salt water is moving into this marsh and uh, I'm gonna bring up a few things on this to show you what I'm looking at and how I'm finding these things. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this was not the best trout bite I've ever had, but it has been, oh my goodness, it has been a while, oh man. And it's not a bad bite. Some of these guys just nail it. Look at that thing. He nailed, he nailed it and ran towards me and I couldn't hardly set the hook. I'm glad I did. But that is perfect as to what we're looking for. That's probably about a 15 inch fish. They're delicious. So, let's get right back out there and try to remember what it was I was talking about. Oh, I've almost heard three times. Um, what was I talking about? I think I was talking about how I planned the trip. Oh yeah, I hadn't been out for trout in geez, two months, maybe, maybe more. Uh, so I didn't, I didn't know. So I'm going off of fishing reports and different things, and then also salinity reports and. Uh, Still don't know how I'm not hitting all of these, but anyway. Uh, and then off of the tidal, how the tide was going to move today and things. So I'm hoping that I can give you guys a little insight on, on things. Because it, it might just be that it's just too early for a lot of these. Now, and I'm a long ways out too. So... I can't wait until it starts moving in closer to the boat landing because uh, I think I got to the boat landing at 5.30 this morning and I didn't make it out here until what's I don't know, an hour later almost. So you know, it'd be nice to not have to get up so early and get out here. Um, but with the way these fish are moving in. It's just all good news. So eventually, they'll be all the way up in Lake Pontchartrain again. We'll be able to go jig the trestles. That's what I'm really looking forward to. Uh, and who knows? It might even be at the end of this month because uh, 
The salinity report is almost two weeks old now. Uh, so, we'll see. We will see. And it's been pretty steady. It's just been kind of slow. There's one. Oh, man. Oh, man. God, I hope this is a trout. Yeah. Stop. Stop. Calm down. Calm down. Yeah. Boy. Look at this thing. <sighs> We're good. Thought I was going to lose him, but. Man. This is a little better. That's probably 17 ish. I, I love that size fish. And hit hard. Oh my god, it almost hurt my hand how hard he hit that. And just like that. Bye. Hard to say. I'm really hoping that this channel takes me all the way through. All right, let's count some fish, huh? All right, we've already got three on the deck, so we're just gonna start counting. Four. Some fish, and uh, if you want to see a video of me cleaning these fish, I got probably 13 trout in here. I have to do a count yet to see what we have exactly. But uh, if you want to see me clean these fish and how I clean a bunch of them at one time, I have a quick process I like to do. Uh, click the link below and see what you see. Otherwise, I gotta get this boat cleaned up. So, thank you for watching. Making, making this a great opportunity for me. Love y'all. Stay tuned for more in the future.